This is such a surprise. It's so unexpected. Yes, Marion. Senator Bell faxed over the information on the Human Resources Development Fund and a tentative schedule for your first session. Oh, and there's a Sal Gano from the Washington Post on line one. He's doing a series on new phases in Washington. Marion, I'll call them back. Well, I can see you have a lot of very important work to do. I wanted to thank you for your generosity, though. We did discuss this yesterday, didn't we? Yes, we did. And you said if I intervene on your behalf with immigration, then... Uh... I would help you with Roger. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, Marion? You never did RSVP on that White House luncheon next Thursday. Should I tell them one or two? Don't tell them anything. I'll call them back. Roger, right? Roger, right. I don't know what I was thinking. Desperation, well, it drives the girl to think of the most craziest options. Things that she could never go through with. I could never side with anyone against Roger. I see. So the fact is, you just got what you wanted. No, the fact is that we never shook on the deal. Are things that desperate that you need to take up my offer against Roger? A little bit of advice since you're going to be with us for a while longer. I've known Roger much longer than you have. Be careful how involved you get with him. Are you warning me? Or yourself? Well, good luck, Mr. Marler, Senator. <laughs> we know you'll do a good job. We're Thanks. all really proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate your support well, and fine. your vote. Sign fine. Get back to work. Thank you. You know, your timing is impeccable. Just put on a fresh pot. There is a tremendously interesting article in here on the press conference, and I wonder if you were quoted correctly. About what? Well, you know, that Holly, she's always stirring things up. Evidently, she implied that you may not be going to Washington after all. But it says here, and I quote, the senator-elect put all doubts to rest. Does that mean we have a deal? You know, except for the waterfront rezoning you haven't been specific about our relationship i think it's obvious no will you be calling me all the time will you be dropping in will you be holding this videotape over my head is this an exercise in public humiliation this look i am well past revenge believe me this is just about getting things done and what it will involve is the occasional favor and minimal contact so it's a simple business arrangement? That's all. I need a friend in Washington. You need to be senator. I think the rest will work itself out. What's your decision? I don't know. There are a lot of factors to be weighed, and there's an awful lot of time before inauguration. I am not an infinitely patient man. The day is coming, and it will be soon when I will come to you for a simple yes or no. And I do think it would be more considerate to Blake to let her know what's in store for her as soon as possible. So, think real hard. Betty told me I could come right on in. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I'm in trouble, Al Michael, big trouble. I need legal help. I've really messed things up with Ross, and I love him so much. I just have nowhere else I can turn. Turn to for what? Some money. I need a loan. I really hate to ask you this. How much? 10000 Done. Thank you. I will get this back to you as soon as I can. That's quite all right, thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? It's all gonna come out. Everything. Everything about Musette, everything, my involvement, everything I told you about. Uh-huh. You know, Pierre, Pierre confessed the whole thing to Harley. He bragged about it. Now Mallet knows, Nick knows. Before long, Lanny's gonna find out and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. I really have to go. I've got a lot to do. But I'll call you later. Oh, Blake. Uh, is Lainey here? 
Must be XY's visiting day. 